this interview is being presented by Intimidation Clothing. Impose your will. Uncivilize. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be a beast among men. Adrenaline Training Center. Up your game. Change the way you train. TheDailyPunch.net. Have you got in your Daily Punch? Area 51 Fight Gear and MMA Mind Power. Late Night MMA Radio is live Monday and Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Call into the show to win MMA merchandise, www.latenightmma.com. Join the revolution. You there, bro? Yes, I am. How you guys doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. So what are you up to tonight? Uh, just hanging out at home. Uh, uh, fight on Friday, and I'm just relaxing, healing a couple of injuries I've been training with, so just resting and trying to heal my body. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, can you talk to us about your fight on Friday night? It was a quick one, wasn't it? Yes, it was a, a knockout in, a minute in 15 seconds uh, against uh, Antonio Duarte. Uh, came out confident and um, came out with the win. Okay, man. So, uh, where'd you go from here? Any word on your next fight? Man, well, they already, uh, Tachi already offered me uh, the title shot against uh, Casey Olsen which is May 10th, but um, I'm kind of hoping that the UFC gives me that call back and I shoot down back over there. After yeah. my two performances there, I'm, 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 I have a feeling they're going to give me a call back. For sure. And uh, I was going to say everyone wants to fight in the UFC. Did you think you've done enough to get back there at this point? I think I did. I mean, I, I fought two top guys, uh, Brad McDonald. Nine and one. Uh, he was he, the UFC was already calling him. Uh, right. He turned them. He turned them down. And then Antonio Dorde, who's fifteen and three, great record, really good fighter, been fighting for many years. And and I took them both out in in, in, in quick fashion. So I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't want a bantamweight fighter that can knock people out in the UFC. For sure, man. So. Uh... Let's talk a bit about this uh, weight cut down to 135. Um, is it hard on you, or is it pretty easy? Uh, I mean, it's not too hard. I mean, it sucks. Cutting weight, period, just sucks in general. But, I mean, this weight cut is, is easy. I'm used to it. I've been doing it for my past four or five fights, so my body's used to it. I already know what to expect. It sucks. I mean, just cutting weight alone is just, you know, it's not fun for any fighter, so... This it's an easy weight cut for me. I have no problem doing making it, and uh, I can make it on short notice. I can make it on, I can make it. It does not matter when. I, I know my body. I know what to do. I know how to diet. So it's it's an easy weight cut for me. Would a uh, cut down to one twenty five be possible someday? Yeah, we've talked about it. A lot of my manager in it talked about it. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I was going to do a practice cut after this fight see how low I can go, because I know if I can make 25s, I definitely would be getting the call back to the UFC, but it's For just sure. something I haven't done yet, so I need to, I, I was going to do a practice cut and see how low I can go without, you know, uh, giving up or, or saying saying I can make it and then go and doing it and then I can't make weight, so um, it's, it's an option, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, man. Um, will you be watching The Ultimate Fighter this year? Yes, I will. Uh, I have a, a teammate on there, uh, Chris Saunders, who made the show, so I definitely will be watching it. What do you think of the format change, them doing live fights every Friday night? Uh, I mean, it's something different. So, I mean, it's 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 different. I, I kind of like it. I mean, it's live, so you get to know, you know, you don't have to sit around and wait. And I, I like it. I mean, it's a different format, but, I mean, it's something different. So we'll see how it turns out. Hey, hey, bro, um, 135-pound division in the UFC is pretty entertaining. Is there some guys there you'd like to scrap with? Man, I would love to fight Mizugaki, definitely. Um, sure, I was supposed yeah. To fight him. I was supposed to fight him my first fight in the UFC, but I got injured, and then I ended up fighting Ruben Duran. But, man, I would like to fight him. I know he'll stand and bang with me, and I know he won't try to take me down, and I definitely would love that fight if I get the call back. Okay, bro, final question here. What is the greatest accomplishment in your career? In my career, I would have to say making it, I mean, when I fought in the WC and the UFC, I mean, that's everybody, every fighter's goal, and, and I was able to experience it and 
and it's making me train harder and even better to get back there. That's where I want to be, and that's definitely um, where I want to finish my career. So I'm going to do everything I can to get back in there. If I have to go out and get this title and, and win at Tachi Palace again May 10th for the bout, then I'll have to do that. And, and, and anything I can to get back in the UFC, that's where I want to be. Hey, man, that sounds good. So uh, throw your sponsors or promote your Twitter or Facebook. Okay, I want to thank uh, my manager, Jason House, over there at Iridium Sports Agency. He, he's been helping me throughout my career. Um, my sponsors, uh, Revolution Cantina, uh, my gym, CSW, Eric Poulsen is in Fullerton, uh, my, my Muay Thai gym, All in MMA in Buena Park. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Cisco Rivera, UFC. Follow me on Facebook, Cisco Rivera, UFC. Uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Good stuff, man. Hope we can talk to you again soon. Have a good one. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye.